Good day, everyone. And now we are going to differentiate the uh, the trigonometric uh, functions, and one of that is the derivative of sine and cosine, and one of that is derivative of sine x. Now we are going to prove that the derivative of sine x is equals to cosine x. We are going to uh, prove this using the definition of the derivative. By definition, we have the derivative of sine x is equal to the limit of uh, sine of x plus h minus sine x all over h, where h approaching zero. And now we are going to expand uh, sine of x plus h using the trigonometric sum and we obtain the trigonometric sum identity is sine of a plus b is equals to sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b then we are going to use that into the given sine of x plus h and here, the trigonometric sum identity, sine of x plus h is equals to sine x cosine h plus cosine x times sine x. And we are going to substitute it from the given or from the definition of derivative. So now we have the, the limit of uh, the group or the sine x cosine h plus cosine x sine h minus sine h all over h where h approaching zero. And next, we are going to uh, rearrange the given numerator. So, ito ngayon ang magiging new result. Uh, mas nilagay natin sa first term yung cosine x and sine x sine h Mas nilagay natin sa unahan itong cosine x and sine h. Then, sinunod natin yung minus sine x. Then, yung last term natin ay yung positive or plus sine x cosine h. All over h where h approaching 0. And now... So, magkakaroon muna tayo ng uh, re-evaluate natin yung given function. So, itong cosine x, sine h, all over h, ay pwede natin siyang going cosine x times sine h over h. Then, yun another, uh, another term. Itong merong red asterisk ay ang negative sine x plus sine x cosine h over h. Pwede naman natin siyang going uh, Pwede i-factor out natin yung negative sine x kasi common naman yung common factor yung sine x. So, pwede natin siyang common factor negative sine x. Then, times to 1, 1 minus cosine h over h. Then, substitute natin yung nagawa natin. So, magkakaroon na ngayon ng uh, the limit of cosine x minus sine h over h plus negative sine x times 1 minus cosine h all over h. Then, distribute natin yung limit approach where h approaching 0. So, magkakaroon na ngayon ng Cosine x times the limit of sine h over h where h approaching 0 minus, kasi plus, plus negative, so magiging minus sine x, nasa coefficient siya ng limit. Then the limit of quantity 1 minus cosine h over h where h approaching 0. So ngayon, mapapansin mo ito. Ito ay uh, meron tayong special formula for the limits of this given function. 
Okay, at pwede natin gamitin. Separate muna natin. So, yung nilagyan natin ng uh, code na violet. Yan yung ating special limits. Kasi ang equivalent ng sin h over h is equals to 1. At yung 1 minus cosine h over h is equals to 0. So, palitan na natin ito ngayon ng... Ito ay magiging 1. At ito naman ay magiging 0. Okay? So, ngayon, ang mangyayari ngayon, cosine x times 1 minus sine x times 0. So, sine x times 0 is 0. Magiging 0 na ito. So, matitira na lang ay 1 times cosine x, which is cosine x. And that's it.